we recording. Okay, we live. We're not live live. Okay. Jamie and I was just zone. discussing. We're in the zone. We was talking. What What is the new thing with Britney Spears right now? Okay, her daughter, or her dad has finally decided to step down as conservator. Yeah. And she's allowed to have her own attorney. Oh, that is major. Yeah. 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 Um, and Lynn Spears helped, you know, file to try to help her get her own attorney. But she has a really, like, hardball attorney. And he's already, like, um, trying to get the, the judge in the case to get her father off from being her conservator because that whole vacation thing, you know, um, not allowing her to go on her vacation. Mm-hmm. Oh, and she has a place right down the street, not far from us. Dustin. I, would, I wish we could drive down there and videotape it, but that's We should of, it's, 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 a, it's a long drive. <laughs> well, and they just opened that bridge back yeah. up from Hurricane Sally. The yeah, barges. and, uh, okay, Kumo stepped down, his people stepped down, and now Brittany's dad stepped down and I heard that Pelosi is stepping down too. All these weird motherfuckers, <laughs> mofos are stepping down. Okay, what else were we discussing about, uh... Oh, Todd Chrisley. I want to know about Todd Chrisley. That stuff was interesting. Did we want to finish the point about Brittany, though? So, oh, yeah. Finish the point Yeah, let's Brittany. finish the updates. Okay, so, um... Her dad is no longer her, her conservator of a state. And he, before he stepped down, though, he had to address Lynn Spears and threw some shade at her. Oh, really? Yeah, he's like, you haven't been involved with Britney for her entire adult life. Okay. And and we pay $100,000 a month for your damn mansion over yeah. there. So, and that reminds, there's that. Here's a mental note. We're going to do Amanda Bynes, too, aren't we, sooner or later? We're going to yes. talk about that. Yes, so she's in a conservatorship as well. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Hit the like button if you want to see a video of Britney's condo. If you want to see Amanda Bynes. Yeah, because that's a lot of gas. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, uh, it's not too themselves. far. It's not too far, but it's right down the street. It's really not that far. Because I have been, I know my way around Destin. That's not it. I've been there so many times in my life. I grew up around there. But. Well, more Pensacola The Gulf Beach, Coast, but, you know. Yeah. But I spent, because you got to go there to get to Panama City. Oh, and the other day I had to drive to Panama City one day. And I went to the wrong time because it was spring break. And I made the mistake. Oh. oh my God! It was pure traffic, bumper to bumper, from here all the way to Panama City. It was like, what was so I it's thinking? It's like going to Daytona for Bike Week too, mm -hmm. bumper to bumper. But anyways, uh, Todd Chrisley, I want that. That we got to do a video of you playing that Todd Chrisley and you talking because that's that was hilarious. That Todd Chrisley situation. I want to know more about the Todd Chrisley. Okay, situation. so Todd Chrisley. Um, he has a grown daughter named Lindsay. Yeah. Well, Lindsay had decided to go to the federal government and say that her dad should be brought up on charges or whatever. So the federal government decides to um, build a case. They, they try to build a case together. Yeah. And at this time, Lindsay was like leaking things to, um, without a crystal ball, Katie. Which is a YouTube channel. Which is a YouTube channel. She's a YouTuber. <clears throat> She's like a tea channel. Not not to be confused with another Katie, just saying. Not to be confused <laughs> with that one. So she's um, telling info to her, and then, you know, that girl is spilling the beans and saying stuff and slandering, you know, Todd Chrisley. And, um, you know, Todd Chrisley basically threatened to sue her. Or without no, a, is going to sue without her. Without a crystal ball was slandering Todd Chrisley. Is yes, what we're, what we're is what I'm trying to say. And that react that podcast, he has a podcast somewhere. We got. Oh my I god, know. it is the most southern shade. It reminds me of Tara. Have you guys ever heard Tara like throw shade at somebody? Tara it's from that, our, this community. Tara. From this, yeah, Tara from our little Troll Avenue community. <clears throat> it's like she'll tie her shade up in a bow and just throw it at you. But she's yeah. it's just I I love it. I love that. If you guys haven't heard this podcast, it's uh, Chrisley Confessions. Yeah. And he talks about Katie without a crystal ball. Because he, he's going to sue her. And it's so funny for because... For an apology for video. For an apology video. <laughs> <laughs> this whole little community over there just reminds me of our community just on a bigger scale. Like community. back in the day. Community. Community. The um, beauty community. Yeah, I'm going to get Jamie to do it. She was playing it the other day and the, the Chris Lee podcast and talking about and pausing it and making her little, her little rants about it. Yeah, her reactions. We're going to have you do that one day, but... 
We're, well, I'm gonna make sure you do What that. about the Duggars? That seems to be a really popular topic with a lot of people, too, that I know a lot about. Yeah, we'll do that at some point. But our main topic was we want to talk about Brittany Wood for a second because this is about to start happening on Peacock. So we're going to... They're bringing out a big docuseries, and this is a story that nobody... Knows, I don't even know much about, but it happened one county away from us, the next county over. Baldwin and, County. Yeah, in another state because we were right on the state line. But and I've been pulled over in Baldwin County numerous times on the backwoods. <laughs> you dude, y'all see these things? Y'all don't know exactly what it's like to ride in the middle of the road that's no in the middle of nowhere, nothing, and it, it just you, it's mind boggling to to the urbanness of what you farmland yeah. and stuff. And you think you know you see Mobile and, and these other counties, and you're like, what? And you don't really think about what you. I I can't explain it. I wish I could. How southern we're talking? And it's so crazy it's only 45 minutes away it's like yeah. traveling back into time it going is it to really like is. alberta and lillian alabama there, there are spots of that lower Baldwin alabama County. and mississippi is like going back to the 60s and the 50s it really is it it's really not is. much different and and these families are all like you know just everybody knows everybody they're all related you yeah. know so tell us who is Brittany wood and what happened to Brittany wood okay Brittany Wood was, um, I think she was 19 years old. It was in 2012. Mm -hmm. And she um, comes up missing. And she was last seen with her uncle. Uncle yes. picks her up and um, she goes missing. Well, it comes out, I think about a week later or so, that, you know, that whole family was under investigation from. Uh, Department of Human Resources for um, child sex abuse and um, they were being investigated and there was a, a lot of rumors and speculation that, that Brittany was going to be the key witness of, of this case. Well as weeks go by months go by like more and more comes out about the family and evidence and come to find out it's like the biggest pedophile sex ring and probably this, I know Alabama's history for sure, but probably yeah. this country's history. Yeah. And when did, when did this, what year did this start happening? I mean, how long? 2012. Okay, 2012. And, um. So, so the uncle that she's last seen with, he was a big player in the pedophile ring. I guess he was the one that would decide what children go to what, because there was neighbors involved with the pedophile ring, family members, aunts were, were messing with nieces, nephews, um, nieces nephews messing with aunts i mean it was it was disgusting it was, it's like every like debaucherous redneck hillbilly shit that the, that people would stereotype a redneck as yeah is, is what you have so in this these, family this family was doing it with each other switching people off and yeah it was it. disgusting and then there was probably other people in the community involved too like police officers and elected officials yeah. but um you know allegedly and you, allegedly we got to say with well, these are allegations and you've been involved with this well, case since the, the people, very beginning. Yeah. Like you've been on websites. Well, and I remember talking to I family was members. pregnant. I was pregnant with um, my daughter, and I lived in Baldwin County at that time. Yeah. We, I didn't like, know you then. I well, lived in Orange yeah, Beach. Yeah, we actually are 15 minutes from Alabama, not 45, because you just go over Lillian Bridge and we're in oh, Alabama. Oh, yeah, that's so true. And Orange Beach is right there, 15 minutes away, too. Right. And that's right. where Christina Randall stays, and her condo is in Orange Beach. I mean, yeah. we're, we're really close to, to, I mean, those places. We can be there in seconds. <laughs> Well, when she first became missing, her her stepmom, which is her you know her dad's wife, was very involved um, with trying to find her. I mean, because Brittany was a young mom too; she had just mm -hmm. had a daughter. Like I think her daughter was two, named Peyton. Um, so you know, she wouldn't just like run away. Yeah. Like she had a family responsibility, and um, so the uncle ends up dead. Before yeah. they find her, the uncle ends up dead, and under suspicious circumstances, because he was found with Brittany's gun, and I want to say the gun wound was almost towards the back of his head. Like, there's a lot of speculation that he may not have killed himself. So, who would have reason to do that? You know, his wife, the other major player in the pedophile ring, mm -hmm. and she's actually Brittany's mom's sister. So she's Brittany's aunt. Oh, okay, and she has a twin sister. Wow. Brittany's other aunt. 
and I want to say she's in prison still too. So a yeah. lot of these people are all in prison, but we still yeah. haven't found Brittany's body yet. Yeah, because you, I mean, you discussed this case with me before, and I was mind boggled by everything you told me Let's in see the if case. I have a cigarette. And uh, okay. I got one in here. Okay. But you, I was mind boggled by everything in ha this spider web. I want to say spider web because I'm mean, every tired and I haven't written all my bullet points down. But if we, yeah, do well, this is the beginning. We're just we because the docu series is about to come out, and we want to start having a discussion about it because if people want to come back to people who were originally in, like no evidence from the case and know what's going on and know what's going down, you know, I mean, you were there since the beginning. You were talking to the mom on on websuits, weren't you? Yeah, we were. Or? It websuits is a community, and everybody kind of communicates with each other in a group yeah. to try to help. You know, see if you can't find a lead or and one of the you first know. people in their Facebook groups with them. Yeah. So you were seeing this case grow, just like you've seen the uh, Delphi case grow. You know, from the very beginning, some of us. I always felt a connection to Brittany's case, though, in almost a, a very spiritual way. I don't know yeah. if it was because I was pregnant and. So, what part of Baldwin County do they live? I mean, South Baldwin. So very so we don't, like we Sticks don't know. River, Sticks River, um, Grand Rapids, or no wait, what is that town Magnolia called? Magnolia Springs. Kind of. Okay. Yeah, that whole little area. I even think Duck, they, Duck Dynasty people hang out in that area too. Yeah. They have friends. I want to say they even searched in like Robertsdale and. Summerdale, and they've searched all over um, yeah. Baldwin County. Looking Baldwin for this County girl. is is really weird. Like I said, it's like going back to the fifties and sixties when you drive around, and it's like the old pharmacies, and it's just the old my, gas pumps. Y'all, y'all, it's mind boggling. Y'all don't know. I wish people knew and how beautiful some of this stuff is. But then you drive a few miles, you're in Orange Beach, and it's all like Panama City Beach. And yeah, it's all it's, like you know <laughs> college uh, kids going around condos everywhere. Condos and. So, um, well, Floribama Shore, yeah, Floribama Shore, but that's see, that's where they try to screw people up because that was filmed in Panama City. You well, know, we're so close, to we're that. so close, but Floribama is really on the Florida Alabama line, which is Panama City is another two hour drive from that, yeah, you know, and they throw people off. But Floribama is well known, and I remember when, when I worked for the company I did, they kept track of which college universities had spring break. Yeah. Throughout the whole United States, it you didn't matter to, where you were. To prepare. Yeah, you had to prepare. Louisiana was the craziest week ever. If Louisiana, if you find out uh, where anybody from Louisiana is spring breaking, they like to go party. There. Yeah. It, it will go all week long and it will not stop and it's the craziest scene of all. But the Brittany Wood case has been on since 2012 and uh, still, like, nobody knows nothing. There was no leads, no. Do you know where the, the, the docuseries is going to go on, on the Peacock? Well, I mean, certain people have gotten arrested for the sex crimes, and they'll be in prison for the rest of their lives. Yeah. So, unless they have appeals, which I'm not sure if they do or not, I haven't checked on this case in a long time, then, I mean, the only thing that's missing is a confession of who murdered her. Yeah. You know, because we still don't know who murdered her, or, yeah. and where's the body? I mean, unless you want to assume <coughs> that she still ran off somewhere, yeah. which I think... But nobody's talking because if somebody talks and you have to unravel the whole spider web. Right, I and mean, that spider web is deep. And I, I mean, this is just a, the craziest shit. I was so shocked that this case did not go as far as it did. I mean, because it is just Yeah, like, I'm amazed by which cases do make mainstream, you know? You know, where too. there's some that are really, like, that would be... Well, that would hit so much harder, but you see other cases, they're just kind of, huh, whatever. I think you know? part of it is because, like, you know, we can't even say, we have to say SA or CSA. Yeah. You have to be careful. In it. Yeah, in this case, I was worried about when prawn. you first brought it up. Uh, is Child prawn. How, how to say things. Yeah, you have, to, you have to be careful how you say these certain words because you can't say them without getting a strike. Yeah. You know, because I because I know for sure there's a few things you can't discuss on YouTube without getting a strike. There, <laughs> there are some. There are a few. Or a whole entire channel there are deleted. a few danger <laughs> words that right now that I know will, they will strike your video for if you mention them. <clears throat> like the algorithm will pick it up, right? Yeah, it's it's an algorithm strike, and it's still a community guideline strike, but you'll still get it, no matter if it's what you're talking about or not. You know, if they think you're talking about it, they will strike you, but. That, yeah, that's when I, when you first brought up that thing about talking about it, I was like, well, you know, I'm thinking back in my mind, I'm like, how are you going to discuss this stuff and these allegations, allegations without, you know, getting strikes, you know, because you got to be, because that's where the Todd Chrisley thing messed up because she wasn't saying allegations. 
Yeah, Rosetta, she was, Katie was, Rosetta Christopher was not saying allegations. She was also sued by Tati Westbrook, but Tati Westbrook, you know, pretty much gave her a break, was like, okay, well, just tell me who your source is. Yeah. Because, you know, and that's what Todd's trying to do, is force her to say that her source was Lindsay. Oh. You know, because right now she's saying, you know, that, um... I, I guess at one point she tweeted Lindsay was not her source. But yeah. there's certain information, and Todd would know this. If she knows something that only you and somebody else knows, or, or yeah. there's no way you could know, then you know where it's coming yeah, from. Yeah, because uh, he, in his little uh, podcast, he, he <coughs> built that brick wall pretty well, where he was like, I got text messages, I got everything. Oh, yeah. He's like, he, I, I don't know if that's really what he's got, you know, he, but he knows how to play chess. I mean, I guarantee you that. He I'm didn't trying get to, to remember it. some of the epic stuff he said. It was there, just there, like, we're going to do a video where you, where you, play it, and you we can talk about it because I, I, I that podcast was like epic, and and our little reactions to it are, are really good. When do you know how often he does those? Is he doesn't do them every week? Is there a certain I'm day not every week? Sure, we'll have to figure this or out. Or he's got a YouTube channel where he brings that stuff up. Um, I know other people are putting it on their YouTube channel. Hey, Todd, Chrisley, if you're listening, just comment down below. <laughs> Tell us when your podcast schedule is. <laughs> I, no I way, live. no way he's listening. But um, yeah, I think it's yeah. We just want to discuss the Britney. We'll get some more information on the Britney Wood as it comes out and it gets closer to the docu series on Peacock Network. And uh, yeah, that's really kind of messed up on that Peacock Network. You know, I mean, that's kind of a weird name. To... <laughs> well, I think it's supposed to be like. The NBC, NBC logo. Yeah. I know what it is. I know what it means. I was just saying. But uh, and tonight, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be sitting up waiting to see if The Walking Dead drops tonight somewhere. I don't know where that's gonna drop, but hopefully it does. But I may have to watch, wait till tomorrow. But everybody else doesn't get to watch it till next Sunday, really. Yeah. But if you have the AMC Plus, you can watch it tonight at some point, I think. But anyways, it's time for us to get out of here. We just want to hit base a few times about a few things we're planning on doing. Hit the like button if you want to see Britney's condo and Amanda Bynes. I really want to do that in Amanda Bynes and the Todd Chrisley too. reaction. The Todd Chrisley reaction. I like that. When you did that the other day and we were discussing. See, I don't understand. Me, me and Jamie had these discussions. She sits here. She's so intelligent. She says these things and she gets to go and I'm like, you should be recording this right now. Just be <laughs> quiet because you got to come up with new stuff. You got to say something, and, and for years I've been telling her this, like, you got to do some true crime, you got to do some Desperate Housewives stuff, you talk about this stuff, you know what's going on, you know, and it's so entertaining to me to hear you talk about these things. Oh, that was a big strike of lightning. I know. At, oh, the McDonald's is about to close, so we got to go. Oh, God, we're back at that again. <laughs> America's the greatest country on earth. Y'all have a good one.